everybody. So today we're going to check out a case Sodbuster Jr. in a carbon steel and yellow Delrin. Um, but first I just want to give a, a couple shout outs. This came in a box of traveling knives that was started by Mike's Life. And it was really, really fun to participate and I was glad to be able to join in. And I believe this one was put in by Gunsinger Cal. So definitely go give him a, a sub to both great channels. But uh, let's get to it. So you have a synthetic yellow Delrin handle that is about three and three and three quarters about. Carbon steel blade, I've got a really nice pull on it, probably like a six or seven. Um, overall length of almost two and three quarters and then a cutting length of about two and a half inches. So pretty world legal in most places. And um, really well built. It's a little slightly off center, but uh, it feels really great. Delrin is a really nice material. And then the shape of the saw buster, it's, it's perfect. Um, it's a really just copied or mimicked knife. And um, my first experience one was actually with a, uh, an Imperial. And um, it was a syn synthetic black one, but not carbon steel, just regular stainless steel. They make these in stainless steel as well. But let's check out the tank, tank stamp. You have case XX and you have eight dots. So I believe this is a 2002 model. And on the back, USA model number 3137, CS for carbon steel. And a really nice action though. It's really, it feels really great to open. It feels fairly secure in your hand. If you grab up on it, it's not gonna close on you. Um, I have been using it, that's why you can see a little bit of blue and orange and red and black. Been using it just mostly just to cut uh, meat and fruit and stuff. And it's getting into patina really fast. That'll add a nice protective coating to it. Um, really easy to maintain though, especially since it's carbon steel. Um, I'm gonna find something to cut. Hard. So let's see. I don't. I haven't. I haven't uh, sharpened it since I used it. So it's a little, a little rough. But with carbon steel, all you got to do is just strop it a little bit. So I'll probably need to do a little more after this, but we'll see if that did anything to it. Just a little bit of stropping. It's a lot better. A lot cleaner cut. Needs a little bit more, but I'll save you guys. Hard about watching me do that, but um, fantastic knife, great budget knife. Um, really easy to carry. You don't really feel it in your pocket. Uh, my main complaint though is yellow Delrin. I very much dislike yellow Delrin. I just don't like the color. I don't think it looks good. Um, there's so many colors you can choose from. I've seen these in red, orange, green, blue, dark blue, purple, uh, black for sure. That'd be a great one. Dark green. And that's just naming the synthetic ones. So I don't know why they, why this is so popular. <laughs> I know people say it's, you know, tradition or, you know, it reminds them of the knives they had there when kids, but I don't know. I don't, I just don't like it. A ugly banana yellow kind of <laughs> fantastic knife though I'm gonna keep using it um, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it or not I like I like the knife a lot I'm not gonna die I'm gonna keep it as is and I'm gonna keep using it I want to get a better idea what it's like but um, that's it thank you all for watching go check out Mike's life go check out Gunslinger Cal give him a sub uh, tell him Randy sent you Give me a thumbs up and a comment and all that fun stuff. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.